Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for Click Kits and I'm going to be using the January kit for this layout. And it's a super fast layout, you guys. Um, this is from the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. It comes in the January kit and it's um, kind of like a cut file, but the pieces are still attached and you can kind of pull them out a little bit for dimension. And um, I did that off camera so it wouldn't take up too much time for you guys. Um, but this is an easy way to get a really, really fast layout done. You really don't have to do a whole bunch of embellishing because the cut file is pretty much the whole page. So I took one of the papers from the kit, which was a floral paper, and it had all kinds of different colors on it. And so I wanted that to kind of peek out from behind the cut file. Um, you could also piece it and do different colors behind different parts. Um, but for me, I am getting back into the swing of things with scrapbooking. I haven't scrapbooked in a little while. Um, um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, and I decided to go in with some purple Catherine Puller ink and kind of distress the edges a little bit. And I realized that I was getting it like a couple places I wasn't careful when I got it on the actual page. And I will end up covering um, one of the spots up that I messed up. But I decided to just go in in a couple places and do it and not do it all over every single piece. Um, because some of the pieces are too close to the paper and I just didn't want to have purple kind of on the white part of the paper. I wanted it to be like really nice and clean looking. Um, this is a photo of my daughter and my grandmother. Um, she passed away a little over a year ago and this is um, one of the first photos that I've scrapbooked of her since. Um, I think I did scrapbook a picture of her and my grandfather um, when they were like really, really young uh, a couple of months ago. Um, but this is the first one, a more recent picture of her that I've scrapbooked. And it was nice. It was really nice to get this documented because I think this was two years ago. So this was um, Emily's last birthday with my grandmother still alive. So um, yeah, it's a really good picture. It's at, it's at my house. We had the birthday party at our house and she just loves her grandma. Her Nini is what we call her, Nini. Um, so that's a really great picture. And this is probably more than likely going to go in a frame um, and going to go on the wall somewhere. So that's why I decided to use um, this uh, cut file as well. So I'm going to mat the photo on some like blush pink uh, cardstock for my stash. It's actually a piece that I used on a previous layout. I did create a layout with this kit and I pushed record twice. It was right after my father passed away and um, he passed away a little over three weeks ago and I was just in like not a great place. Um, I'm still, you know, obviously not in a great place, but I'm doing much better. Um, and I did want to say thank you to all of those who have reached out to me, um, and sent me messages and cards and you guys are so sweet. And I just wanted to tell you that I appreciate you guys and the cards and the comments and the messages really just, um, help me and brighten my day when I see those. So thank you for bearing with me through, you know, I didn't have videos, I think for a whole week and a half, but I am back and I will be going to Creativation. I leave next week and I'm going to be gone for a whole eight days, but I do have videos scheduled and ready to go. Um, and so you guys will still be getting videos from me and I'm hoping to do a vlog on my channel of Creativation. And if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely make sure that you are because I will be posting little, um, videos in the Insta stories part. Um, so you guys can see my shenanigans at Creativation. So, oh, I love this kit, you guys. 
I really, really love the Whimsical Collection. It's so pretty and colorful and it just makes me happy. And I love these thickers. They're, I love foam and gold. They're my favorite. And I just think they're so pretty. So the title is just going to be family. It's going to be super simple because like I said, um, there's a lot going on with the cut file. And I really don't want to cover up too much of the cut file because it is gorgeous. And that's, I, that's it. Like, I just don't want to cover it all up. So this is definitely going to go in a picture frame because it's picture frame worthy with that cut file. It's super pretty. Um, and I just used some of the leaves from the thickers as well and just placed kind of coming out from the flower um, here on the corner. And then I'm also going to place some in some other places where there are leaves. I'm going to do a little cluster of hearts here. These, this ephemera pack came in the kit as well. Um, and I'm going to pop the one on top up on foam squares just to give it a little bit of dimension, not too much. And this little wood veneer came in the kit as well. And it says, hello, happiness. I just thought it was a <clears throat> I thought it was adorable and I really wanted to use this rainbow heart because why not I love rainbows and I love hearts and I felt like there was a blank space there under family and I just needed something there so that is what I'm going to do and I'm also going to pop that up on some foam squares these foam squares are super super thin so it's really not that much dimension so like I said I am going to add a couple more of those thicker um, leaves in a couple places. And then that is going to be my layout. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. And I will have click kits linked below along with my coupon code if you want to take a look in the shop and get yourself a discount. Um, you can. Uh, yeah, that's, I think, Nope, not going to use that. That is it. There will be some close up pictures at the end if you guys want to stick around and see those. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that y'all have an amazing day. Bye.